so uh, acetabular uh, is a very important thing and you know poly was responsible for osteolysis now it is improving we are getting better poly so pre op evaluation is very important and you must have basic x ray you know jude vo 3d ct scan so if you have pre op planning you know what you are going to do you must have a source for allograft try to rule out infection surgical approach as uh, told wonderful approach it's a wagner uh, trans so that gives a good exposure to the acetabulum also very important and uh, you have modern tm augments kgs so you should have good pre operative uh, evaluation so that you are more confident during surgery so also assess the bone loss the quality of location of the bone vascularity uh, intraoperatively uh, you have to see how vascular all sclerotic bone should be removed percentage of host bone contacts so these are intraoperative assessment now jude view as you know uh, if you as shown this is a basic thing you know you can see with uh, obturator view the anterior column and posterior wall and with iliac view you can see beautifully posterior column and anterior wall so preoperatively again colus line which gives you amount of medial uh, protrusio acetabular tear drop you know it's a uh, cut section of the base of the floor of uh, acetabular medial medial lateral so you know what is a acetabular uh, uh, floor ischial lysis you can see from the x ray i have shown i mean the picture i have shown so the main integrity of the posterior wall and posterior column inferiorly and superior migration is very common and uh, uh, that you can assess and classification this gives some basic idea so i'll not go in detail so type 1 is uh, almost you have minimum defect type 2 the columns are intact but it can go uh, superiorly or medially and type 3 that is both the columns are gone and it can go up superiorly laterally or it can go in so up and about and up and in now when you see the acetabulum the best part of bone is anterior superior part and posterior inferior so these two points are very important to have a good grip of the uh, cup so this is very important so these two points you should get a good grip when you do a final cup placement uh modalities of reconstruction bone graft allograft anti protrusive plate trabecular metal is very very important it gives a excellent osteo integration proven beyond doubt jumbo cup in some cases distraction technique triflange cup now uh, this was not included uh, so cup removal is atraumatic and this is the best equipment available uh, now this is called explant and uh, it has got two blades short and long so remove the poly first remove the screws of the cementless cup and then go take a dissection clear the margin of the cup and put the small osteotome and revolve it around it so this is the best equipment a traumatic removal and uh, everybody enjoys this it uh, preserves the bone now let's go to some cases protrusio failed amr you must have seen after 5 years many times uh, the calcar is also lost and it tends to go into protrusio it's very common so when you see a protrusio uh, simple thing is when you want to revise it uh, best is as told eto is the best way it gives a very good exposure and as uh, uh, it was told that uh, remove the stem and uh, the exposure is very good so trochanter everything has to be cleared very well and uh, uh, impaction bone graft because there is some bony shell and you can pack a impaction bone graft the periphery is intact in protrusio so you can do a impaction bone grafting 
and it heals very well and so again there is a severe gone so for this again etio gives excellent exposure remove the stem and you can go in the same track remove all the debride everything clearly and assess it but you require a good support and this is all removed and you uh, you can see the bone quality if it is good uh, if there is a superior you can put a impaction bone grafting and uh, get away with the similar case impaction bone grafting the base the superior part if you see there is a good bone support here so that needs assessment whether to require a, a plate or polyware osteolysis dislocation again you can uh, uh, use a similar technique eto is a very good and it union rate is almost 99% i would say this was a 42 year old uh, thr done by professor dolakia and uh, bilateral poly wear and severe bone loss so everything was uh, reconstructed and little large size cup and this is 16 year post op is enjoying mobility stability etio is also united now very interesting case uh, this patient was done by anti approach so with anti approach your stem insertion has a little problem you don't have a proper uh, uh, landmarks or judgment for version of the stem so there was a malunited uh, supracondylar fracture there was some residual rotational deformity so anteriorly when they operated all parameters were perfect for the version but because of the distal rotation malunion they dislocated so one point I, and we did the uh, all the pre op planning and it showed there's a more anti version but it was the surgeon was right as per the parameters he went anteriorly but because of the malunion of the rotational malunion he went wrong so i want to make a point that when you do posteriorly the vertical limb is the best guide for stem version even if there are any deformities rotational deformities because anteriorly the leg goes down it is very difficult to so posterior approach this is one important point which i want to then second thing is slightly high center whenever you put a high center avoid lateralization that's very important and up to 2 cm it is okay as long as the bone stock should be good now previously ceramic uh, first generation there were lot of cases of fracture of the liner and uh, dislocation like this so when you remove everything reconstruct see that you don't put a metal head always put a stronger ceramic is a stronger one and now you have a fourth generation so which last quite long previously like uh, we have used you must have heard about oblong cup so this um, plastic um, rob matthews isoelastic has been out from entire world because there is no osteo integration it gives only stability and uh, so oblong cup but it is again gone out of fashion because you cannot adjust the version so this is one old case 16 year old but everything is so trabecular metal has changed the entire osteo integration world and this is a unique material which gives a stability and there's a possibility of osteo integration and it has proven beyond doubt now you can see the poly gradual progressive osteolysis now this patient before it goes into a catastrophe dislocation and you must catch up and progressive osteolysis you can see there's a severe osteolysis all around and you should do at this stage though there is a good uh, patient is walking but you know after few days it will be a catastrophe and uh, good planning everything and you must uh, use a proper uh, 
trabecular metal which is the best available it is expensive but it uh, it's a wonderful impl implant and give stability osteointegration rarely jumbo cup this was one unique case old cox uh, this thing and uh, there was no acidabulum everything was in the ilium both side and jumbo cup definitely has got a role and he is walking for more than 2 3 years good bone formation stability cages do have role but it is going out because long term results are not very encouraging trabecular metal has overcome the this thing and you need a good planning and you can reconstruct so fantastic 13 year old follow up bilateral reconstruction they have got a good mobility stability polyarticular rheumatoid you can see knees were completely uh, stiff extended etio knees were done and there was a hip severe protrusive rheumatoid is a real bad case and uh, good planning and reconstruction with a bs cage and 11 years post op good stability mobility pelvic discontinuity and it again this is a old case i have done now you have a better implants trabecular metal and uh, cage construct so 18 year old follow up eto has fantastically united so conclusion good pre operative pa planning you must have a uh, access for allograph which is required for almost all cases soak it in blood so that there will be some better chance of osteointegration achieve primary stability that is very important check the stability intraoperatively optimum intraop stability with osteointegration uh, augments like trabecular metal really makes wonderful reconstruction long standing because always think about revision so primary is very important restore biomechanics preserve bone stock and always think about future revision thank you